What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been asking me about NBA Youngboy ever since the news of that fair shit broke. I done dropped a couple blogs about this already, but I'm only speaking now because somebody asked me, do I think he gonna tell? Do I think he's gonna fold? Uh, that's kind of hard to say. I don't know if he could really tell because he's the highest. You get what I'm saying? But I do think he could probably expose a few things to kind of make shit go a little lighter on him. You got to understand and this guy is facing gun cases, multiple gun cases. It don't look like NBA Youngboy going to be able to put the Mike Tyson knuckles on this one. I'm not sure. Now, you guys understand, he's a millionaire. He can pay for the best lawyers, lawyers who didn't spend their whole career dealing with these type of cases. So I believe he can come from up under this, but I think it's going to take a lot of luck and a lot of praying. This guy got multiple gun charges. Think about it. He was already under federal investigation. He was already had stipulations to his uh probation from when he was locked up. That's why you haven't seen them on the internet like that. I spoke on that in the last blog. So I think it's going to be tough. This is the thing that's crazy. You got to figure these are not NBA young boy guns. Yeah, he might have paid for them with his credit card because he needs the security, but you got to figure these guns was being held by these other people in the car. Why nobody stood up, raised their hand and said, hey, that's my gun. Kind of baffles me why no one would take up for this guy instead of putting this guy in a position when he's the bread winner. You gotta protect the breadwinner. And that's the shit that had me confused. Now, all of a sudden, the breadwinner is looking at 10, 15, 20 years inside of a federal penitentiary while the niggas who ain't making the bread is out here living life every day. This shit is backwards as hell to me. And then another thing is, that guy got like seven, eight kids. Do you really think he's gonna be away from his kids this long? The man got all these gun cases. One of his artists is involved in a murder case. You know, NBA Youngboy got a lot of bad karma around him and I don't think he can blame nobody but himself but if you ask me I think he's the prime candidate to tell I think he's the prime number one candidate that would be able to snitch on somebody but I don't think he's gonna do it for some strange reason I don't get that from his energy his body language his cadence his mentality his persona he seems like the guy who's gonna hold it down and do what the fuck it gotta do but I can tell you one thing and I said that in other blogs the NBA young boy that's tough as hell play with the guns don't give a fuck about nobody that NBA young boy gone I doubt if we ever see that NBA young boy again he's got to make a conscious effort to trick the feds into believing he's a changed man he's a different person if he wanted to come up out of this shit you seen what Takashi 6 9 did he turned into a rat a crybaby he pointed people out act like he was a little boy they mistreated him they tried to kill him he didn't know what the fuck was going on then he got out of jail and I realized he was the kingpin he wasn't the guy who was following people Look at his mentality. Look at his personality, his attitudes, the way he's going hard on these rappers and dead people. I don't think nobody used him. I think he was using people. So I think, you know, NBA Youngboy needs to be very careful. He's in federal custody now. I'm not sure exactly what's going to go on, but I'm pretty sure they're going to ask him a lot of questions. I'm not sure if his case is linked to any murders or, you know, drug conspiracies and shit like that. But I will tell you that having multiple gun cases, you know, of, that's going to be hard to kind of beat with the feds. The feds got like a 98, 99 conviction rate. You would not beat them. And if some people did beat them, you know, hey, it happens. But in my opinion, I think this is the kryptonite for NBA young boy. The feds was watching him. And that's what kind of got me confused and why Lil Durk want to get in a beef with a guy who's being watched by the feds. I seen it happen with Takashi 6 9 when he was beefing with Casanova. Luckily, Casanova didn't take the bait and shoot at the guy or kill any of 6 9 friends because if he did, 6 9 would have told the feds when he got caught. So I think Dirk needs to stay the fuck away from this beef. Kind of continue doing what he's doing. Now don't get me wrong. I think NBA young boy could come up under this. We seen Murder Inc. do it. Other guys have beat the feds and come, come up under that rock. So it's possible. But if you ask me, already on probation, then the feds looking at you for some guns for like a year ago and then they finally get up with you. You run, then they find a gun in the car. You know, this kind of like don't look that good. But I'm going to keep you updated on this. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie truth. Put it, put it, put it.